I was not born, like the born. No, I was like born ready. Trek. What is that from, Jonathan? Do you remember that movie? One of the greatest movies in the history of cinema. I was born ready. I feel like I know. Kurt this. Russell. Oh, is this a um, uh, Big Trouble? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? I was born ready. That, that, such... that, I mean, that should is we have amazing. a casino watch that night? Probably. Okay. And speaking of that, if you do enjoy this type of strange banter and whatever we do here, click like, subscribe. Don't forget the bell. The bell, bell. is important. The bell. That is, um, I had my mother click the bell recently, and she was like, oh, if you I, don't I get click the bell. Videos. It's like when you walk out of like Arby's or Chick Fil A, and they have the bell by the you door. Don't click the bell. To be like, oh, good, great, great job, guys. If you don't do it, you're gonna miss so much happiness of roast beef. And this is not really a great job, guys. It's like, hey, I want to see your video next time to make sure that it, you know, sucks as much as this. <laughs> and speaking of that, why, Here we go. why you should never really stop learning? And that is like that's what we were sort of talking about this morning. And John is going to leave a lot on the learning platforms, but it was, I was I was getting because like I really when I get sitting down and play, I try to learn new things a lot. Not like new songs, but I'm trying to learn new like techniques. Yep. And new ways to phrase. That's sort of like my thing that I do. I'll go through phases where I'm like, I want to learn some maybe licks by famous players. Mm -hmm. Like Joe Bonamassa tends to be one I always go to because I just, I, not that I want to play his songs, I just want to play some of those licks. Some of those cool, you know. And like figure out what he's doing. Trey from Fish, I find fascinating. And once you understand some of the phraseology of it, you're like, oh, okay, it's not out of reach. It's true. Um, there's so many good things now to, to like break those things down and make them attainable, you know, or make them like uh, digestible, I guess really is the word, you know what I mean? That you can, oh, okay, I see what's happening and what makes these things sound the way they do. And, and speaking of that devil edged sword, not really, I just thought that was a cool phrase I came up with devil edged sword. Um, God, it's cool, right? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. No, there's nothing, it completely doesn't make sense. I just wanted to say that. I just came in my head, I was like, I want to say devil edged sword. But um, what are some of the best learning points? <laughs> Was that? One time when I was a little kid, I was I was in, I was in the car with my dad. You have to know my dad. My dad's very like we haven't met his know, dad yet. We heard he's and you never will special. unless you go go to the farm. But we're in there where it's me and my dad, and my sister in the car, and I remember I'm like eight years old, maybe not even that old. And I remember thinking like, is hell a cuss word? And I was sitting there thinking about it, and I'm pondering it, and I'm like, I'm just gonna test it. And my sister tells my dad to like turn, and I'm like, all right, here's my chance. I'm like. Why you want him to turn here when you don't know where in the hell that goes? And my dad's just like, bam! <laughs> and I was like, okay, it is it is a curse word. <laughs> so there you go. I think one of my kids, like my three year old, flipped off my wife the other day, which was he didn't really know what it was, but it was I thought it was quite funny. I also did that to my kindergarten teacher. Anyway, let's continue now. I didn't know platforms. what it meant. Yeah, you did. I was like, what what does this mean? And so, what are some that you really like right now? Uh, well. There's there's lots of different ones because you can do like the subscription ones like True Fire. Um, there's one that like Daniel Donato is on. That's like all kind of like six string country. There, there's a bunch like that. You know what I mean? There's um, I, one of the great YouTube channels. A guy named Corey Congilio. I really love his lessons. Yep. He's starting a new one, which is called like Working Class Guitar or something like that. You have to check it out. Go check it out on his I'm Instagram. I'm going to do that as soon as we wrap um, up. But there's a lot of things like that. Obviously, there's Fender Play. You know, so if you wanted to do like a monthly a subscription where you go through a course, then there's, you know, a lot of our favorite YouTubers have them, like Paul Davids. There's a Red Shull one. They're the guy from the Acoustic Letter. What's um, his name? Tony Polcastro. <laughs> I didn't My know. twin. <laughs> Z would never have forgiven me if I could not think of his I was name. Just, I was going to say Tony's thing. And I was going to, I want to see if Jonathan remembers your twin. Oh. I think when you look so much alike, like, yeah. you, it's just like you have to sort We're of force yourself it's, away. It's true. Because it's, it's like, it's, no, his is really cool. His is actually a, surprisingly good like right. it's like um i've actually looked through a bunch of that one too and it's um it's well done it's well laid out it's easy to follow it's fun it gives you enough challenges and things to do that it keeps coming up with new stuff there's i mean those are like the courses right but there's some great channels too there's a guy named the stitch method mm -hmm. um, i like his because it's very much like you said it's not particularly a song or you know a lick it's more like how to think about like playing over a 12 bar blues or how to, you know, think about playing this mode or that mode. It's very like philosophical. So if you only have a few minutes, you don't want to sit down for a month. It's and maybe not the song. channel with you. Well, no. it, yeah. I think it is because it, you know, you can listen to it for five minutes and it just makes your wheels sort of turn. And that, that's more what I need. Cause like, I'll, I'll even pull up some of like, you know, if I was saying Joe Bonamassa earlier when I was on that kick for a bit, 
like Joe Bonamassa like lesson or Joe Bonamassa lesson. And I don't watch Joe Bonamassa give a lesson because that's not right, good. Right, right, right. He just he's too good to give a lesson. Just do that. No, there's there's just a couple guys out there that really show and they break it down yep. like like you know fifty licks by Joe Bonamassa. There's one. Yeah. I feel like that's one, and it was a really cool one. And it's just and you really learn like oh Joe lives in this mode. He likes the Dorian a lot, and um it it was fun. Yeah. It was fun to do that, and like, and so it slows cool. it down. It has the tabs written out, and this, I think it had might it might have the music right now. Maybe it's just tabs. A lot of a lot of do that. Ross Campbell guy does really good stuff like that. There, there's just so many good ones, but there's there's really no excuse this day and age for not continuing to to learn and have new things and new thoughts that inspire you. Well, and that's that's my designer. sort of main pleasure and joy in playing guitar yeah. is because when I do get to have like my twenty to thirty minutes a day at the most. I'm not like playing, you know, Alice in Chains songs or anything. I'm usually trying to like work on like new licks or like sounds within the guitar. And you can do like, there's so many good ones. Like uh, there's a dude named Carry Too Smooth Marshall. You ever watch this channel? Say that one more time. Carry Too Smooth Marshall. Dude, no, he's, but I love he, it. It is amazing. Well, I I, I, you know, he's like an R&B kind of neo soul kind of guy. So he shows you all those cool little, like you play the chords and you do the little embellishment, hammer on pull offs with your pinky. And it's these R&B chord progressions that, you know, might be foreign to you, but they're fantastic. And he's played for, you know, I think he's played for some pretty big And well, that's the beautiful thing of this internet. This is one of those few times I'm like, dig into the internet more. Normally we're like, hey, turn off the internet and go play guitar. But this is one of those moments where you can, you can find anything for whatever skill level you're at, whatever style you want. It's well, yeah. insane how many options there are. It's funny because I feel like when I was learning to play, um, you know, it was like a older teenager early 20 year old it was all in magazines you know it was it was guitar world and it was a guitar player and i used to was, love going to the bookstore so you could get the magazine i would like hitch a ride or like beg my mom to take me to on cue that was it. you know and i would get the uh, <laughs> i'd get the magazine right and then at one point i like got a subscription and you know i yeah you would just do all that stuff but it's fun to see it transition sort of to youtube because back then you were sort of at the mercy of whatever was in that issue and now it's everywhere. You could literally find it. I still lo love the joy of buying that magazine. I don't do it much anymore because there's no bookstores like that carry magazines. Barnes and Noble still does. So if you, I, I'll go there and find the five guitar magazines and sort of like scroll through them. Maybe buy the twenty dollars UK production per publication. Oh, I have to do that too. And they have the special edition sometimes. Yeah, I got one right there it. underneath like some of the audio equipment yeah. behind the camera with like I Beatles boxes of them somewhere. Trips there, in yeah. it. There's, there's. It's weird. The magazines seemed like, and maybe I've just. I'm sure some people did the same thing with the magazines, but it seemed like they were less gear centric and more musical knowledge based. Is yes. what I got more out of the magazines than. I mean, you get like gear stuff or the rig rundowns or that stuff, but it just you know. No, there'd be a few gear reviews which are really fun. But it wasn't like every piece of gear ever was at your fingertips, so you just didn't get quite so, you know, I transpire. Right? Information and, overload or choice paralysis choice sometimes. Paralysis. I like that thing that we talked about weeks back. It's um, it is. It's really nonstop, and you have the world is at your fingertips. And like even like ultimateguitar.com, I think that's that one app yeah. that is a game changer. I've had it for years, yeah. so apparently it's a subscription fee now. Well, there's still a free version, but okay. you if you get the app, you get all their pro level. Yeah, but I tabs. Or but whatever. you have to subscribe to it, I think, to you get all this. I played it all the time, and you're supposed to. But I I bought it, and I have all the yeah. pro stuff. Yeah. It's twenty so, bucks, like forever. I think. Okay, that's much. I bought it years ago. Yeah, it's, it's like, like twenty yeah. bucks forever. So that's the best twenty dollars you'll spend. It is because because all the other ones are like regular person submitted. So it might be right. It might not be right. It might have four stars. It might have three stars. It might have you, you know. And like it's still, but it has all these different options. So if you do right. want to do something a different, like hey, this guy has it on a capo on a different fret, or it's cool. Then you can have like the auto scroll. You can have the video pull up, so it's playing in real time with you as it's auto scrolling. You set the time. It's such a worthwhile app to buy. I know twenty dollars might seem like a lot, but it's it's the price of one cappuccino in LA right now. Probably. And I think it's I don't think you keep paying that. I think no, it's I, think it's, I hope you, I'm not you sure. buy the app, I think, and then it's just like I've had it for but so long, so I don't even think about it. I will never delete that app. I bought it at one point and then I like changed phones and iPads and I don't know if I ever re I don't know. Maybe it found you. I feel, like they, I feel like they do that. They find you. Fine. See. So like share any of the ideas that you've seen out there as far as learning platforms that you know, you love. We love like sharing this wealth. This is what it's all about. Elevating the community, having fun while we're doing it, 
making some friends along the way. Just just keep learning, man. Even Randy Rhodes was taking like guitar lessons, like is that up nice? to the end. Isn't that crazy? Sean was di- di- I think digging you about that. Like, hey, what if Randy Rhodes called you up for a lesson? I'm like, no. I, I would don't... humbly submit. I think there are some decent lessons on Jonathan's personal YouTube. How do you find that channel? I really don't know. It's just I think if you Jonathan just type Jonathan music. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Okay. Yeah. Um, there are. It's some just really, my channel. It's just my name. There are some really good lessons in Jonathan's channel. Check them out. They're fun, and um, you can actually like email him or like shoot him a comment, and he, and he responds. And I usually pick the lesson topics based on the comments on the videos. So. Unless Christy's mad at you, then Unless it's just Christy's a free for all. That's right. You never know what's gonna happen then. Christy's a sister. <laughs> um, so on that note, that'd be really strange. Sister yeah. wife. Sister wife. Yeah. Um, now though, thanks for watching again. We appreciate your time. And I hope you have fun out there. Keep playing. Keep strumming. Click like, subscribe, and that magical bell one more time. The magical bell. Guitars signing out. See you next time. Sunny City Arm.